Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brief Catalan Studio tutorial for beginners. Now, this video will have everything you need to get started with Catalan Studio, especially if you're a beginner. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website right here. So as you can see, this is the main landing page of the website. We have here the Catalan.com community hub and I am currently logged in with my account. So the first thing you need to do is to create an account with them and you need to use a business email. So make sure you have that. And once you've signed up for an account, you're going to have to go ahead and download the studio. So this may take a while. So just follow the prompts to download the studio. But in the meantime, you can also check what they have on their website for their products, solutions, pricing, and resources. So the studio that I downloaded is the free version. Of course, if you want to explore more with Catalan, then I recommend getting their uh, premium studio. So you can check that out for yourself. But basically after downloading the studio, then you should be able to see this right here. So we have the Catalan Studio app, and we're going to get started with, uh, let's say, web te testing. So it all depends on what you want to try to automate with your testing. You can do web testing, you can do mobile testing, API, or BDD testing. So here we're going to try web testing. But before we get started on this, just a quick uh, background on Catalan. Catalan Studio is a powerful and user-friendly automation tool primarily for web, API, mobile, and desktop applications. So it provides a complete testing solution with an integrated set of features for test management, creation, and reporting. So here we're going to move on with our first project or new project. So after clicking on new project, we'll be able to see this small window here. Then we're going to try to get started with web testing. And then you're going to select your role. So what your current role is, let's say, uh, let's try student to keep things basic. In the meantime, you can actually skip this question as well. And here I want Catalan to help me so we can select all that applies. So automate, automate repetitive manual tests. We can do that. And then let's see what else we can add. We can try improve test coverage and efficiency. And then maybe integrate automation testing into my CD. But you can also actually add a few options of your own here on the uh, blank part. So once you're satisfied with that, just click on continue. And then here I want to integrate Catalan with. So these are just some of the uh, integrations that Catalan provides. So we have here a bunch of uh, familiar brands so, such as Slack, uh, GitLab, Jira, GitHub. Let's say we're going to try Slack and uh, GitHub and GitLab. All right, so we can start. So here we're just going to let that load. And then you can see here the Catalan platform integration. So the project is first project. Here are two things you can do to explore platform capabilities. Start a test suite, ex execution and analyze your test result in report analytics. Start executing with test cloud for cross browser testing. So if you click on new project, it'll open. A new browser for us right here. Which is weird because it's making us log in again, right? So we're on our first project. Let's try to click OK. So getting started, write your first test case. Okay, so here we have the demo. Hi, Miko. Welcome to our first onboarding tour. Create and run your first test. So we're going to click here. 
With the web recorder, you can perform common actions on the web and turn them directly into test steps. Now, what website would you like to test? Then web recorder makes generating test scripts easy and natural. Let's start recording. If you're ready, click on the record button. All right, so go ahead and interact with the page. Perform at least three actions. Every action you perform is highlighted in red. All your actions on this web are captured as steps like this. Got it? Right, so you can see the red highlight. Uh, let's try clicking on make appointment. Uh, demo account. All right, so let's try inputting this. And then this is not a password. Okay, so basically it's functional as if it's an actual uh, website that we're testing. However, I may have gotten that password wrong, so we're going to try that again. However, these are actual credentials. There we go. So we're able to log in and you can make an appointment to uh, this Cura Healthcare Service. So that's for the testing. So if you're done, you can stop recording now and click on the stop button here. And then we can save our test case. So this will be our first test case. So click on the save script button and we have this. So remember those buttons you click on that web page, those are web elements and we're saved together with your actions. We can add these captured elements to our object repository and we will need them later. So if we click on okay, we now have everything we need. So test steps saved as a script and the web elements they interact with. We can now create a new test case I'm going to name it sample test case trial run click ok then we have our sample test case right over here and these are the actions that we did so it's uh neatly listed voila you just created your very first test case it is stored under the test cases folder there we go this, this editor view is where you can adjust your test case in both manual and script view. All right, so let's try to run this test and see how it works. It's this button right here, it's currently running. We're just gonna let it load up. I'm gonna allow access. You can see it opens up this page right here and you can see the exact steps we did in a seamless flow of events. All right, you just completed your first automation test. Let's check the results to see if all the steps passed. All right, so basically that's how you try to run a test or automation test. And you can see how uh, it perfectly mimicked what we did on that uh, website. And you can freely do that as well with other uh, platforms such as mobile or API, just Feel free to explore what you need to check in the Catalan Studio. And that's about it. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.